Okay, so I'm gonna talk to you guys about ads on Twitch because there's like a ton of information uh, that you guys need to know. And like, nobody likes ads, all right? Nobody likes ads on Twitch, but it's pretty much like uh, gonna be a reality of being a Twitch streamer. Like, like it or not, there's gonna be tons of ads going forward. Um, and quite frankly, like, I don't think anyone's happy with the ad situation. But I do think there are things that you can do to make the ad situation a little less annoying for your for you guys. So it's going to it's going to require you guys to uh, adapt as streamers, which I think is kind of a good skill that you guys need to learn, by the way. A lot of people are just complaining and bitching on Twitter and stuff about stuff. But like um, they're they're basically we'll talk about this. OK, so what do we what do you need to know about, know about ads? So first of all, uh you can't turn it off okay if you're an affiliate or a partner you can't turn off ads on twitch right um you're either the options are, are um everyone gets pre-roll ads whenever they get into your stream or you as a streamer can set it up uh so that um run 90 seconds of ads um every 30 minutes so if you run 90 seconds of ads every 30 minutes um this will disable pre-roll ads for everyone so when new viewers come in they're not going to be bombarded with like with um with pre-roll ads and there's been like a debate as to like you know whether or not uh some people say like oh like they would rather people get pre-roll ads and then never have to deal with an ad again uh, or some people that are like well i want to run 90 seconds of ads so that, you know, none of my new viewers get pre-roll ads because like pre-roll ads are the worst. You don't even get to see any content before you see anything. So like both of these options kind of suck. Um, and unfortunately, like I don't have a solution to I don't have a solution to basically fix this for you. OK, but what I can what I can tell you is this with the with the advent of amazing programs such as Streamerbot. Um, here's a program. If you guys don't know what Streamerbot is. Uh, well, here it is. Okay, uh, we made videos about it on uh, on the YouTube channel. But basically, um, this bot does like it does basically everything. Okay, but one of the things that you can do with it um, is this bot can detect when an ad gets run on Twitch. So if I run, if if an ad, if you go to your ad scheduler, on your dashboard. Okay, let's go to your let's go to the dashboard. Um, I'm going to go to partner and then we'll go to ads. So here's my ad manager. So I've, I've opted to do ads every 90 seconds. So I, I opted for the second option here. So I'll zoom out here. Cause you guys are probably going to get, <laughs> you're going to get motion sickness. I've opted to do the second option and I'm going to explain why I did the se second option here. Um, I've opted to, to do 90 seconds of ads every 30 minutes because I've set it up in streamer bot streamer bot actually knows when mid roll ads happen. And so what I'm able, what I'm able to do is I'm able to program whatever I want whenever that does happen. So for example, here's the simplest thing you can do is whenever an ad happens, you can put a message in chat that tells everybody like, Hey guys, we're running ads. Um, and so that way, People in chat know that ads are supposed to be running and I know as a streamer that ads are running. So that allows me to adjust my content. So like if I'm in the middle of like having a really important conversation and I see that message that says like, oh, ads are running because I know that ads are running now, I can be like, oh, hold on guys. Let's like put a pause on this conversation or like let's pause our game um, and then we'll let the ads finish. You know what I mean? Um, it's kind of annoying that you have to do that, but like at least you as a streamer can, pre can prepare for that to happen. And just like, this is like a side note. Um, this is actually something that happens in radio, by the way. In radio, um, you might notice like if you do listen to the radio, um, they have to schedule ads out like at, after a certain in interval, right? So sometimes like the people that are like the radio hosts will be in the middle of talking or something and be like, hold on a second. We're gonna, like, we're about to like, run an ad or something and then they stop mid basically mid sentence and then they play all the ads and then they continue after that that's kind of like what you have to do as a streamer 
Um, so yeah, you can set up something like StreamerBot to like run the ad. Um, or oh, sorry, you can set up something like StreamerBot to run like a macro or run something every time ads uh, get run on Twitch. So um, that's just a simple example, but you could make it play like a sound effect too. So you can make it fun. You can like green green screen yourself just shouting like attention everyone we have ads right now blah 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 so every time mid roll ads run you can have a green screen of yourself like yelling at everyone and now everybody knows that ads are running you as a streamer know that ads are running then you can like adjust your content around that um another thing that i did was uh i've talked about the stupid yellow bar a million times uh, but every time I run, I'm literally going to run an ad now so you guys can see what I'm talking about. Um, but like I've set up. Uh, okay, well, I've done a couple things. <laughs> this is complicated. I've done a couple of things. Uh, I have like the yellow bar. You know, when you're watching a, like a YouTube video and then you get ads and it plays the ad. But at the bottom, there's like a yellow bar. You'll see like a yellow bar like as ads are playing. And that yellow bar, you know, when you see the yellow bar, you're like, oh, ads are playing. So I actually programmed my own yellow bar into the stream. So every time ads are played, you'll see a yellow bar at the bottom of my, of my stream. I can't actually, uh, I'll show you that in a second because I also did another thing. So you can do like a simple thing, like a yellow bar. That's like a widget that I made. Actually, I'm going to show you that if you guys haven't seen it. Um, let me go to my Patreon because I released this as a Patreon widget. Uh, this is also a way for me to plug my Patreon, which is cool. Where is it at? Patreon. Okay. Where's my ad widget that I made? Ad overlay widget. So here's my stream. Um, this countdown thing is a separate thing as well that, that I programmed, but Every time I get it, see at the bottom, there's a yellow bar here. talking about ads is an ad for himself, mega brain based. <laughs> yep. So every time my, uh, my on my stream, we get pre-roll ads, this yellow bar, it automatically appears. So again, it's an indication for me that ads are running. So every time I see this yellow bar, I know that ads are running. But only not only do I know that ads are running, I also know how long the ads are going to run for, right? So as, as long as the yellow bar is at any point in my stream, I know, I know that like, I know my viewers are still stuck in an ad. So you can program something like that for yourself. I might release that to everyone for free at some point. Uh, I'm probably going to make, uh, what I want to do is I make an, I want to make like another, another widget that doesn't just show a yellow bar, but it actually shows like, you know, like in Twitch ads that sit, have the yellow thing at the top. Uh, sorry, YouTube ads, they have a, a yellow thing that say like add one of three or add one, two of three or something. I want to make one of those. I'll probably try and make that widget and give that to you guys as well. Um, but again, like the things that you can make with streamer bot, like are basically, basically like are the possibilities are endless. So like every time an ad gets played, you can do whatever you want. And so this is the thing that I made was the Pokemon thing, which I've shown to many people before. But it's basically, uh, well, I'm going to run it now. This is going to run an actual Twitch ad. But this is what I do for ads. Who's that Pokemon? Yeah, and then uh, people can play this game. There's yellow bar. The yellow bar appeared because we're playing ads. Uh, and then people can, uh, you know. Figure out what the who the Pokemon is. <coughs> I don't know who this is, but <laughs> you don't see a yellow. It's here. It's literally at the bottom of the screen. What are you talking about? So literally, right? I can, I'm pointing you to it. Fur, fur, fur. Who's that Pokemon? Who's that Pokemon? Who's that Pokemon? It's Murfro. Good job, guys. So yeah, that's uh, that's basically the the TLDR of it is uh, the two. Well, op again, we're gonna go back. Apex right now. 
or doing pot. The point the point I'm trying to say is like Let's go back to the start. You have these two options. Again, everyone gets pre-roll ads or or you can run 90 seconds every 30 minutes. Uh you can choose one of these two. I've choose I choose I've chose I chose the second option. Um and I just program fun things that happen every time uh ads are run. And um I also make it very clear when ads are run um so that I am notified that they're running and then I adjust my content uh, around that. That's basically the advice that I'm giving to you guys. So um yeah. That's basically all I have to say. Uh, as far as like the widgets go, because I know not everybody can add a yellow bar to their stream or whatever. Um, I will probably try. I don't have it made at the moment. This is just something that I, I'm going to try to make. But what I'm going to try to make is um, I'm going to try and make a little uh, pretend this paint MS paint was my stream. I'm going to try and make a little tiny widget where it says like a thing appears in the top right corner that says like add and then it has like a countdown so like the ad is like 30 seconds long it'll like count down from 30 or something um i'll try i'll try to make something like this um and then i'll try make i'll like i i know i make like patreon widgets and stuff but because this is like a problem that affects like everyone i'll try to make this one uh available to everyone if possible but imagine like something like this that pops up in the corner here imagine that was a corner of my stream and it like count counts down would that be cool for you guys would you guys think that's a cool little thing to make anyone i'll make it like a browser source and everything so it's like way easier to install than like all the other things i've been making you guys would like that okay i'll put that on the list of um widgets uh for me to make but um yeah, I guess that'll have to do for like a, another video. So um, that's basically all of the pertinent in information for the time being. I'll keep you guys updated when I have like a, I'll make a full YouTube video on the main channel about this at some point once I have like this widget wet ready and then I could like structure a whole video because this, this is actually a really important conversation to like have. Um, and so I want to make a good video about it on uh, YouTube, but I just want to like give you guys that information now. Uh, just because it's kind of important, but uh, yeah. Anyway, I don't know if I'm gonna put this up on uh, the second YouTube channel or not. Just in case I am, get the hell out of my channel, okay? I mean, or just click off and watch another one of my videos, okay? Thanks for watching. Uh, give me money on Patreon. Um, now, okay? Okay, thank you. Bye bye. <laughs>